both our spiritual and our blood ancestors and the elements of Earth itself. She's been on the path of awakening since 1970, first as a student of Rudolf Steiner and then, and then engrossed in, in, engrossing in Buddhism and the inspiring experiences that it offers. She's also known in this valley as being one of the leaders of our Return to the Earth movement. Our, she grows all of her own food and she is the um, spiritual the director of a nonprofit that uh, works to promote the a local food system and eco design shelter. And we're doing a green home tour in September. Yeah. So she's got a lot to offer this morning with her heart open.
strong in the new spirit is get the best for yourself. Get a good house and all the stuff that we surround ourselves with. That's strong in the new spirit. How much of our choices and thought have contributed to that? We are all always nourishing something in the new spirit. And that's what's nourished in America's new spirit. And there are other things too, but that stands out. One thing that stands out. So, with those concepts in mind, and we live in an ocean of mind, I will lead us into this contemplation of touching the earth. I open my 
my heart, flesh, and bones to receive the energy of insight, love, and experience transmitted to me by all my ancestors. I see my roots in my father, mother, grandfathers, grandmothers, and all my ancestors. I know I am only the continuation of this ancestral lineage. Please support, protect, and transmit to me your energy. I know wherever children and grandchildren are, ancestors are there also. I know that parents always love and support their children and grandchildren. Although they are not always able to express it skillfully because of difficulties they themselves encounter. I see that my ancestors try to build a way of life based on gratitude, joy, confidence, respect, and loving kindness. As a continuation of my ancestors, I bow deeply and allow their energy to flow through me. I ask my ancestors for their support, protection, and strength. In gratitude, touching the earth, I bow to all generations of ancestors in my spiritual family. I see in myself my teachers, spiritual ancestors, the ones who show me the way of love and understanding, the way to breathe, smile, forgive, and live deeply in the present I see through my teachers, all teachers, over many generations and traditions. Going back to the ones who began my spiritual family thousands of years ago. I see the Buddha, or Christ, or Ernest Holmes, Emerson, or whoever has been my personal guide. I see that their energy and that of many generations of teachers has entered me and is creating peace, joy, understanding, and loving kindness in me. I know that the energy of these teachers has deeply transformed the world. Without all these spiritual ancestors, I would not know the way to practice, to bring peace and happiness into my life and into the lives of my family and society. I open my heart and my body to receive the energy of understanding, loving kindness, and protection from the awakened ones, their teachings and the community of practice over many generations. I am their continuation. I ask these spiritual ancestors to transmit to me their infinite source of energy, peace, stability, understanding, and love. I vow to practice transform the suffering in myself and the world and to transmit their energy to future generations of practitioners.
in gratitude, touching the earth, I connect with all people and all species that are alive at this moment in this world with me. I am one with the wonderful pattern of life that radiates out in all directions. I see the close connection between myself and others, how we share happiness and suffering. I am one with those who were born disabled or who have become disabled because of war, accident, or illness. I am one with those who are caught in a situation of war or oppression. I am one with those who find no happiness in family life, who have no roots and no peace of mind, who are hungry for understanding and love, and who are looking for something beautiful, wholesome, and true to embrace and to believe in. I am someone at the point of death who is very afraid and does not know what is going to happen. I am a child who lives in a place where there is miserable poverty and disease, whose legs and arms are like sticks and who has no future. I am also the manufacturer of bombs that are sold to poor countries. I am the frog swimming in the pond. And I am also the snake who needs the body of the frog to nourish its own body. I am the caterpillar or the ant that the bird is looking to eat. And I am also the bird that is looking for the caterpillar the end. I am the forest that is being cut down. I am the rivers and the air that are being polluted. And I am also the person who cuts down the forest and pollutes the rivers and the air. I see myself in all species, and I see all species in me. I see that I am protected and nourished by this earth and all of the living beings upon it, including plants and minerals. Actually, one more because I divided the first two into two. But there's two kinds of ancestors. In gratitude, touching the earth, I let go of my idea that I am this body and my life span is limited. I see that this body, made up of the four elements, is not really me, and I am not limited by this body. I am part of a stream of life of spiritual and blood ancestors that for thousands of years has been flowing into the present and flows on for thousands of years into the future. I am one with my ancestors. I am one with all people and all species. Whether they are peaceful and fearless or suffering and afraid, at this very moment, I am present everywhere on this planet. I am also present in the past and in the future. The disintegration of this body does not touch me. Just as when the plum falls, blossom falls, it does not mean the end of the plum tree. 
I see myself as a wave on the surface of the ocean. My nature is the ocean. I see myself in all the other waves and see all the other waves in me. The appearance and disappearance of the form of the wave does not affect the ocean. My true self is not subject to birth and death. I see the presence of myself before my body manifested and after my body has disintegrated. Even in this moment, I see how I exist elsewhere than in this body. My lifespan, like the lifespan of a leaf, is limitless. I have gone beyond the idea that I am a body that is separated in space and time from all other forms of life. I feel the energy of this stream of life penetrating my body and soul, supporting and accepting me. I vow to cultivate and maintain this energy and transmit it to future generations. I vow to contribute my part in transforming the violence, hatred, and delusion that still lie deep in the collective consciousness of this society so that future generations will have more safety, joy, and peace. Thank you.